here is um, homework 23 continued. I'm going to do both problems 2 and 3 in this video because uh, they're basically the same problem. Just or well, you get the idea. All right, so this is um, a parabolic uh, type of thing, a little bit sideways, and uh, has x is equal to k y squared is the curvature of the thing but we're given the values of a and b and so because of that we're going to be able to figure out what this k is and we will integrate this okay so there you go here is uh, the setup and problem two we find i y problem three we find i x so that's not that big of a deal and um, so okay, we'll start out with i is equal to integral um, y squared dA. All right, so uh, we're trying to find it about the y-axis, which I didn't label. There you go. So for uh, this one, maybe I'll draw it over to the side. I'll keep this one fresh. Um, We're going to find little rectangles that look like, th nope, that's not true. Sorry about that. We're going to find, um, no, no, wait, I did, I did do this wrong? Let me see. Let me, let me go back to the problem. Uh, well, first one is to do it about the x-axis. Whoops. And the second one is to do it about the y-axis. Okay. So let me see. This one x and this one y this one uh we want to do it about the x-axis okay so yes that's the case so here you go this is going to be dy and we'll call this one w so that's how we're going to find the thing so um we say that uh da now, you know what, before I go any further with this, maybe I should find out my equation right in there. That would have been a good thing to do. So I say x is equal to ky squared. In this case, x is 2. No, well, I, I think I solved the thing by uh, uh, before. Let's, take, let's just say that x is equal to a. K and then B squared, so K is equal to A over B squared. Okay. So when we go through here to uh, find um, this right here, this DA, we know that it's going to be the width times DY, and that width is going to be um, a minus whatever this is right here or a x d a oh d y duh <laughs> d y so d a is equal to a minus uh, x k uh, x which is k y squared which is a over b squared times y dy now let's go back up to here uh, x is the integral and we're going to take it from 0 to b because we're doing it in y's so we go well I I meant y squared times a minus a over b squared y dy. So we have a y squared minus a b squared y cubed dy. So integrate that and we get a over 3 y cubed right, 
minus a over uh, 5b squared. Whoop, 5. Wait a minute, check it out. Wait, let me come back, come back, come back to me. What, did I just mess something up? Mm -hmm. I think I might have messed something up. Why did I ever think that that was y squared? No, it was y squared, duh. That was y squared. y squared. This is y fourthed. All right. Yeah, so because I should have rewritten this out up up above from 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 here down like right here to say that it was x is equal to a over b squared y squared. So that's why I put for that right in there. Okay, so uh, that was fourth. So that's why that's five, and this is y to the fifth. And I'm taking it from 0 to b. So a b cubed over 3 minus and a b 5 over 5 b squared. So we can see that we have i x is equal to um, one third minus one fifth a b cubed a b cubed so one third minus one fifth the common denominator so that would be um, Uh, uh, five fifteenths minus three fifteenths, or what we end up getting is two fifteenths. Then, and that be a is equal to three. B is equal to 2. We get 3.200 in meters. These are meters. So this thing's huge. Meters fourthed right there, right? All right, so that was um, problem 2. Continuing on with problem 3. Problem 3 is going to be the same thing, but this time we're going to do. Um, I Y integral X squared D A. All right, so what we have here, we want to do it about this axis, so it's going to be easiest to have our rectangle like that. There's X, and here's Y, here's our DX. And then here is just going to be our y. So that makes this is actually an easier problem. So our dA is equal to y dx. And our formula for y is now going to be um, this inverted, right? So it's going to be. Um, a, b, x times b squared divided by a square root of the whole thing. So it ends up being um, b over square root of a x to the one half. I did, skipped a couple things there, but that's uh, what is is true right there? So uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna end up saying that d a is b over square root of a x to the one half d x. So we place them into here, 
and we're going to integrate from 0 to a. And we have x squared times our b over square root of a x to the 1 half dx. And so if we have 2 and 1 half, that ends up being 5 halves. And let me um, stick this stuff to the outside of the integration. Whoops. B over square root of A, integral from 0 to A of x 5 halves dx. We have the integration of that ends up being uh, 7 halves or 2 sevenths as the, in the thing in the front over to the 7 halves and we'll take it from 0 to A. Keep going in there and we find that we have um, 2 sevenths and you'll have, um, this will be x to the minus 1 half. So we have x to the minus 1 half so that ends up being uh, 7 halves minus 1 half Right, end up being six halves or b a cubed. Right, so that's the answer right there two sevenths b a cubed. But if you stick in now two sevenths and take b as equal to two and three a is equal to three cubed, we get i y equal to 15.43 meters fourthed, right there, right? So the answers to two is IX is equal to 3.20, did I say yeah, meters fourthed, and three IY is 15.4 meters fourthed right there and let me box these in and as I showed in class because I already showed these um, solutions uh, to this we were able to get that same answer. Let's see. Is it not going to show it up for me? This is not going to work, is it? Why isn't SolidWorks showing up? All right, come on. Let's bring them all down. And back up here. There you go. I can open you up and here is problems two and three. I was able to make this, um, I think I actually made it in inches, but so don't look at the, uh, uh, don't, don't look at the units of the thing, but when making this thing I made it with, uh, see the parametric right there. I didn't, um, yeah, because that's the square root of uh, 3 right there. Yeah, okay. So, move me out of the way. Come on. And we get the uh, section properties. This recalculate. Let's um, go and see uh, extra units. We can see that we have about the output coordinate save system. We have uh, 3.24, so I had to, it's a little bit off, but here I have my 15.4687, so that uh, that agrees uh, pretty closely with uh, what I had. So confirmation that we got the the right thing. That is all.